right, Samson here with my Ant Miner S9. I just want to let you guys know, as you can see with the way this is set up, I have it blowing into the house instead of blowing out of the house. It's sucking in the air from the outside to keep itself cool. It's winter time. And so I did that because it was just... Uh, it was really cold outside and that was perfect for the miner to keep itself cool without costing me any air conditioning bills. So, and on top of that, it heated up my house so I didn't have to turn my heater on either. It was a double win-win situation. However, right now, it is uh, basically getting way too hot in here to the point where I'm going to have to start turning the air conditioner on and I need to do something about this so I'm going to flip it back around. Alright, so in order to do this I have to detach a few things and just basically flip it. Let's see if I can get this done on video. I don't know if I can. I might have to pause the video. Look at that, that was simple. I only needed this thing for when I was trying to redirect there to basically get it to go in the house better. So I don't need this uh, for the, when I flip it. So I'm gonna pull this out. And it's just basically covering up the gaps. But yeah, I'm gonna flip it around. Let's see if I can do this without turning it off. I don't recommend doing that. I mean, definitely you want to turn it off if you don't want to have any problems, but I'm just going to, you know, you know what? I'll turn it off. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm not going to be, this is a really expensive investment. I'm being lazy here. All right, I'm powering it down. And we're going to flip this bad boy around. All right. All that dust build up. I'm not I'm not ready to clean it though. That'll be a different time. I just I got stuff to do. I need to get this thing flipped. Without any problems. Preferably. That's the biggest problem is the, these cords don't want to twist as easy. Uh-oh. Okay, give me one second, guys. I'm going to put you right here. So you can see what I'm doing. Roll, roll, roll. Come on. That should definitely solve the issue. Let's go ahead and... Alright, it's back the way it used to be. I had taken videos of flipping it multiple times. and Well, I also did some duct work that I took videos of. I have it go outside, but I did not share that with you guys yet. Maybe I should. I'll go back and... there. It was step-by-step. Uh, -step visual instructions. I'll go back and share it in a little bit. We're going to turn this thing back on. And as you know, it takes a little bit of time for it to, uh, you know, to get booted back up. But I'm not going to sit here and wait for that on video here. I'm just going to keep this video nice and short. This is uh, basically, I'm now pull, uh, using the air in my house to cool the miner off once again and it's going to be blowing the air outside. And given that the air in the house was the same temperature as the air outside of the house, this is basically a no different situation for the miners consideration. 
However, it'll stop heating up my house and I can actually start cooling my house off and keep it cool all day instead of warm. Alright, that's, uh, that's it for me.